hello friends in this lecture we are going to learn how the operator overloading function and friend functions can help each other and to make the c++ language look more beautiful okay so we will use a very simple example again we will have a counter class okay this counter class has nothing but a simple one integer that it stores and now we want that we saw till now that okay you can do s1 plus s2 if two counter objects are there okay so how operator overloading helps us is that let's say we have counter s1 comma s2 now the s1 has let's say a content of 3 and s4 has a s2 has a content of 4 then we saw how it helps like instead of writing add counters okay something like this so we could write this thing more simply just as s3 is a counter object is equal to s1 plus s2 okay so this looks very fine and using operator overloading you can overload this plus operator to perform this which basically means here now it will become s1 s3 is equal to s1 dot operator operator plus s2 it will take as an argument so that's the concept for operator overloading now it returns another temporary object which is of type counter so this is the idea now let's see someone becomes more imaginative they say that okay because your counter just stores an int can we do something like s3 is an int plus s2 something like this can we do that this is just an integer and this is what you are storing so can't you make your 10 become one counter object automatically instead of int you upgrade you upgrade this 10 into an object of type counter and then add it to s2 give me a result s3 which stores this so can it be done so the simple operator overloading plus operator won't run here because it will see 10 plus something so it will do 10 dot operator plus and something s2 this will not work because this is not a counter object this is just 10 uh, an int so what is our how to solve this problem so what we do now we use what is known as a friend function okay so we will use what is known as a friend function that will help us out first it will help us convert 10 into an object and then it will add the content to s2 so how it is done let's try to see the code so here what happens is we have a counter object then we have one integer okay so this is public in fact we should have declared it private that's fine for learning purpose counter we have one counter i is zero initially what we do displays a function that displays what is the value of i get data it just asks you to enter the value of that i now how we handle that s3 is 10 plus s1 this kind of thing is we make a friend function this friend function it returns a counter object okay it takes operator it overloads operator plus it operate overloads operator plus and it takes two arguments int and a counter object so now what happens is so when we have s3 something like here so let's see and the definition also implementation so let's try to analyze this so when we have this so counter operator plus int a counter s1 so now what happens is when we do s3 is 10 plus s1 so this basically 10 is taken as an integer argument count uh, this s1 is also taken as an argument to this function so these two becomes function arguments to the this function and it returns a counter object okay so this is the basic main thing to understand that when you write 10 plus s2 these both of them are taken as argument this is int argument here if you see this is the counter object argument 
both of them are passed to this function it creates one counter object now you see counter temp then what it does simply temp dot i is equal to your integer value a plus your s1 dot i so this your temporary object has now got its counter object it returns you that temp so now when I do S3 is 10 plus S1, so it will just return me, this whole thing will be processed first, it returns me something basically A plus S1 dot I. So this works and friend function helps us to realize this also, that first was that counter object was there. So we could add two counters S1 and S2, okay, so this was there was allowed by the operator overloading in fact many things like plus plus s1 was allowed s1 plus plus was allowed and so many things were allowed and now friend function is making us to allow even adding an integer with your counter object so that's how it helps it so now let's try to just verify it with one running this code does it really work or i'm just saying it so counter s2 i make s2 dot get data i do we have a counter s3 object where i want 10 plus s2 so let's try to build this code it works fine enter i so if i do so enter s2 dot get data i enter 6 it gives me 16 back because it is 10 plus s2 so 6 6 plus 10 is 16 so that's what is displayed now so I hope you understand this. Thanks a lot.